things done. And I love the fact that Mac and Apple is making it easier for people like me who just focus on the creativity side of it, but have a machine to execute all of their ideas. And that's just what matters to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on everybody? This is your boy Albert Gorman of Damon Film and Photography. Um, today we're gonna do a quick little video, review, whatever you wanna call it. I'm not a super tech guy. I'm just a power horse guy who just wanna make videos and photography for my freelance company that I run. Um, I don't really, well I do care, but I don't really go too hard on like specs and trying to see this to that, that to this. I started my company with a MacBook Air M1 chip and coming from a, I guess a Mac Cube, you know, the Mac Mini. Um, that was my upgrade at that time in 2020. And it did me great, man, honestly. Like it got me where I am today. I edited all of my photos, all of my videos on that machine. And unfortunately, I had to sell it yesterday because I got a new one. And this new one is, the MacBook Pro, M3 Pro, new chip, M3 chip. Um, honestly, like I got this thing because I really needed a upgrade on just my main workhorse. Um, I think I was running out of space. I had the base model of the M1 Air and um, it was 256 I guess gigabytes of um, SSD and then it had eight gigabytes of RAM. I know with the unified RAM So I thought I could get away with it and honestly I did get away with it It did take me a lot longer though to like process and render a lot of my files and stuff But in general it, it really got me started and got my company off and running You know what I mean? So it's been two years I was using that machine and now I got to the point where it wasn't running as fast as I needed to be. I got new contracts that are coming up that I need the efficiency. So I had to buy a new computer regardless. And if I was gonna buy a new computer, I might as well try to get the latest and greatest. I know I could have used my money maybe a little bit more efficiently, but honestly, this is brand new. I feel like, all right, if it's here, it's gonna be here. They're gonna do the things to make sure it runs optim optimal and be very optimized to whatever new apps and stuff that comes out. So I went with the M3 chip Pro, um, MacBook um, Pro 14 inch. Um, and I'm just gonna do a quick little comparison to the MacBook Air and to this and why I got it. And we're gonna wrap it up real quick and sweet, all right? So give me one second. Yeah, so this right here is actually my wife's MacBook Air. Um, after I got mine, I convinced her to get to get hers and she got the pink one. Um, it works perfectly for her. She's a real estate agent. And um, you know, she does her thing with it. I guess she does her office work and all those little kind of things that really matter to somebody that has to do day-to-day -day office, administrative work, stuff like that, and she has no complaints. So if you are a person in that field, maybe a college student or something like that, I just think go with this. I just sold mine for about 650. So if you can get it on the used market, 650, I took care of mine, so there's nothing wrong with it. I think that's a steal. I wish I could have got that at that price when I did buy mine, but it's all good. Um, so. Pretty much, I still have an Air here in the household to compare it to. And the uh, MacBook Pro, um, M3 Pro, uh, what can I say, man? I'm just gonna note out a few things that I think gives me the upgrade that I like. Right off the bat, um, you get a 14 inch screen compared to the 13.6, I believe it was, on the Air. So yeah, whatever you get, you know, a couple centimeters or whatever, um, bigger in screen size. Um, the screen quality itself, to me, off of my own eye test is much better. Um, maybe not much better, but it's noticeably better. And the brightness that you get, I believe it's what, 500 nits now or 600 nits on the new computer compared to the old one. And you notice that big time. In the nighttime, I, I have it at half power. I don't need all the brightness in the middle of the night. So overall with the quality of the screen, I think it's a lot better and it's a big upgrade in that point. Um, 
you get way more power i believe you know um it obviously has more gpu and cpu so you get a lot more power compared to the macbook um air base and um yeah so i definitely enjoy that you know i did some stuff on photoshop like the last two days and exported maybe 100 photos 50 photos at a time snappy within a minute all those things were exported before <laughs> I would probably have to do like 30, 20 photos at a time just to make sure I didn't get no hiccups. But with the latest update in the uh, iOS, I've been getting less of that and I was able to export a hundred at a time without any issue. But like a year ago, it's, yeah, forget about it. Like I gotta do 20 at a time. Yesterday or the two days ago, I did like, what, 150? Within a couple of minutes, I exported it all, 100% quality, and um, have no complaints on that side of things. So big upgrade on that um the next upgrade it might be more of an aesthetic thing but the color right like you get the space black space black uh i guess color on your actual laptop and i think that's really dope um for the little snobby people you might be like "Ooh, i got the new one because you got the new color right so whatever that may be um just the whole fingerprint thing though honestly i don't really got no fingerprints on this hopefully y'all can see it on the b-roll but um yeah in general like i love the color i think it looks sleek i think it looks cool i think it matches a lot of my stuff in my studio downstairs i am in my kitchen though i hope it's not too messy in the background my daughter's in the living room playing with peppa pig and all that stuff so i'm trying to knock out this video asap um the last couple of things i can say is just compared to the 256 ssd on the air to the 512 gigabyte on the macbook pro I think that's big time um, upgrade for me. Um, I was thinking about getting the one terabyte SSD, but honestly, man, like I don't got the phones like that. So I needed something that's gonna be an upgrade for me and just give me a little bit more. And I have so much external hard drive that I just said, you know what? I'll continue to do things as if I never upgrade. I'm still gonna work minimal, um, you know, minimal process, not have a bunch of tabs open, I have, all crazy things open i'm still going to keep it as if i never upgraded and get the plus on the rendering side of things and the processing side of things and really take that advantage of it because i got a lot of projects and they're coming back to back to back to back so i just needed something that was more reliable and um another part that i truly love about the pro going coming from my air is um you get a lot more ports like you got the three th thunderbolt ports and then you got a MagSafe plug, I, I believe it said. Yo, if I said that wrong, sorry, don't shoot me. Um, you get an SD slot. Like I'm used to having some kind of dongle thing always with me to import files. And I just thought that was so annoying. Sometimes I forgot it when I'm at a wedding and you know, just so many reasons why you don't want to deal with that. So the fact that everything is compact already in here, I can work on the computer without even you know, the extra storage that I got, I can just still work on a quick project without having my dongles, plugging in my external and, you know, get all messy and stuff like that. Keeps my workspace very clean and I appreciate it big time. Um, as far as this, uh, I think it's 1080p um, camera on the laptop. Haven't tried it yet, but from what I've seen from the million videos that I watched before buying it, it looks a lot better. So I'm happy with that and the fans i think it turned on on me it turned on on me last night when i was just doing a actually i was doing a wedding video two hour long video and the fan came on you know i didn't even realize it it was just so so quiet it was like 12 a 12 a like you know middle of the night and um nobody was awake so i did hear it but i didn't notice it and it didn't bother me it didn't do nothing like it just continued to work through so um the fans being there to make sure it doesn't get overheated is big and key for what i'm expected to do in the future so um, those are pretty much the notes that i took right off the bat i had this for about five to seven no five days now so been using it every day um because i actually had some work to edit and I'm loving it, no complaints, honestly. And yeah, if you're out there in the market, so who is this MacBook for? Um, I think this MacBook Air M3 Pro 14 inch um, will be for anybody that's in my position, I believe. So if you're like a professional um, content creator, I guess, 
And professional just means like you're getting paid to do this stuff, right? Um, if you are to that level and you have a demand of, you know, that's very, that like I still work a full-time job doing programming for machine programming, actually for a company, a corporation, and I do wedding videos on the side. So you can only imagine, I got two kids, I got a mortgage, I got a wife. So you can only imagine how being efficient with my time is so key to me. So I think this is for anybody that's in that realm where you're trying to run a business, you either do it full time or you do it part time, but you do it like 20 hours a week, whatever the case may be. And you need a power horse. I got the base model M3 Pro 14 inch. And I think that's perfect for anybody in that realm. So you get paid to do videos, you get paid to do photography, and you don't want to have any kind of hiccups, any kind of worries. I think this laptop right here is for you. And, um, that's my suggestions. Um, uh, hopefully y'all can stay on my page, check out my YouTube, check out some of the wedding videos that I did on this page and um, just see some of the future stuff that I got planned coming out. And um, I'll do more reviews on the MacBook if that's what people want to see. And I'll give my input, man. Like, like I said, I'm not a techie guy. I'm just a worker who wants to get things done. And I love the fact that Mac and Apple is making it easier for people like me who just focus on the creativity side of it, but have a machine to execute all of their ideas. And that's just what matters to me, you know what I mean? So that being said, hopefully this helped anybody out there. I know I may have confused more people because I didn't really give you any real reason to say buy this, but just from my own experience, I have no regrets. And I think anybody that's in my realm of freelancing should get it. Or if you want, if you're starting up, get the MacBook Air base model honestly i know it's pink it's crazy um but yeah get the macbook air it started my whole company two years ago and if i had more storage and more power in it i wouldn't have changed it honestly so i think it's perfect but i am happy with my upgrade and i think i'm going i think i'm dragging this too long so that being said y'all hope y'all enjoyed the video like sh like share subscribe all that good stuff and um come back again all right peace